Sentir. pretty good run. Dude, we need shorter grass, like really trimmed, dry grass. I should check the SCs. If they're warm? Yeah. Kind of floating in the front. I mean, nose diving in the front. Yeah, be careful uh -oh. you don't sink it. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. everybody this is eric and this is the latest creation i built with my cousin the hovercraft so basically it's got three parts or four the air cushion the um propeller that pushes the air through the cushion the thrust motor and the rudders so we've got four vertical stabilizers two rudders then we have the pusher motor that pushes the, the hovercraft through the air. And this is the motor that sucks air from up here, pushes it down. And then what it does is it, this flat, there's a flat piece of foam that goes all the way throughout here. So it, the air goes down and spreads out throughout the thing. And then it comes around here and hits the tarp. And then there, it gets released out here in this bottom hole. So that's how the hovercraft hovers. The air coming out here pushes onto the ground and lifts up the rest of the craft. So yeah, this is just a kind of explanatory video. We made it out of um, foam, insulating foam, pink and green. Just mounted these two uh, brushless outrunner motors here. Some wood and some glue. Uh, this is all just thin plywood. Mounted these so that it works together like this. And then we've got two ESCs, one receiver, two motors, and one servo right there. So yeah, it was mostly put together with tape, foam, a lot of hot glue, a couple of toothpicks. And then this is just a tarp, looks like this, it's a, like a sack made out of tarp material, so we use that for the air cushion. So yeah, this is our homemade hovercraft, built it in four days, and didn't cost us too much. Bye!